Right. It's uh, Sunday, 2nd of June, 2024. And I thought um, I haven't done a practice session uh, on my YouTube channel. And it was something that I thought I might do occasionally, um, just to sort of see how things are coming along you know, outside of a lesson and outside of the performance. Um, and so I figured, well, why don't I just do it? Because it's week, week 57. Yep. Um, so about the time I got a, got a benchmark one in. So this is what this video is. Uh, and um, I'm just basically going to start it, stop it, and just upload it. I'm not even going to bother trying to edit it or do anything really like that with it, um, or cut it or anything like that. So it'll just be what it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, that is a record. So there we go. Practice session. So first up, I'm practicing Dig Those Earthworms, which is um, one of those um, extension pieces. I've got two extension pieces at the moment, actually. Uh, and this is one I've had for a while. Let me get this up here. Dig Those Earthworms, i got week 46. So, um, yeah, it's been about 10, 11 weeks now. Um, so we'll have a crack at that and see how that's going. <laughs> front end though the um for quite a while i didn't get the um there's that the, the, there's this this piece here repeats and after the first round of that i was having quite a delay between i was getting back to the second one so i've been quite pleased last week actually it's been um good i've been able to get back to that in the right time i hadn't sort of skipped a beat so I'm quite pleased about that progress <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Right. on this one and we'll move on to Arabesque I think. Just 
don't quite get it right. It's um, yeah. It's so, sometimes it's just something goes wrong. Sometimes it's this bit over here. It's this bit there. It's, 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 it's uh, <laughs> pretty weird. <laughs> anyway, it's just all fun. Right. <laughs> sessions because it's a little finger um, and I imagine if I'd started a lot number of years ago the little finger would be a bit, bit easier to work on on things like that but it's quite a lot of a little finger work and it's, it's a bit hard on it so uh, I suspect it's a bit of a dexterity issue there but anyway never mind I'll keep plugging away at it right so arabesque Um, and we we'll start on this. Yeah, let's just try and work out the hands actually that we're doing. So we end up. Sharp G.
place for that one. All right. Um, Cliffs, so that's D, uh, D sharp, yeah, that's okay. to the right spot already so that's So that's that. Move it under there. Go hands together, see how we go.
trick here is that the left hand is meant to be staccato, like that. And uh, getting my brain to not hold it down while I do. While I'm holding these ones down at the other end. Legato, that's, yeah, that's proven to be a bit tricky. Oh, I'm not, not to mention the timing of it. Because those are all there are meant to get in the space of one beat. Interesting to come back in um, you know a year's time, so and look and see if my staccato um, has got any. What the, sorry, the being able to do staccato and legato in different hands has got any better. Uh, one of the scales that Jane's te teaching me at the moment, or one of the, the, the practice things, I guess, around the scale, is trying to do it so that I alternate the hands legato and staccato to try and get better at doing that. It'll be interesting to see where that works out longer term so but at the moment not that good <laughs> right so um oh, actually speaking of scars i think we'll just get on to scars now i think yeah to do that so let's do that there first and i'm currently working on the c major two hands together uh, sorry two octaves hands together scales and the D major two octaves hands together scale. So um, that's what I'm practicing at the moment. Of um, I'm not currently randomly rotating the scales. Um, my thinking is if I can get hands together on two easier scales like C and D, then um, C and D major I should say, then uh, it'll be easier to do the other major scales hands together two octaves as well. So especially given that most of them are say, two that don't have the same fingering. Um, arrangements. So if I can get the finger arrangements for this working, then it should be easier for that. So that's my thinking. So which is one, I'm not rotating the scales randomly at the moment. I'm also uh, not randomly sight reading either. Um, I've got my random sight reading selection there to, 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 to pick if I want to. But given I'm working on arabesque and I'm having having to move it around and throw and figure out what those notes are every time, I'm not quite used to it yet. I'm using that as my sight reading practice. So. Anyway, so scale, so C, so let's start with C. So let's do that. Two notes left to do, only one one finger there to do it on that one, and two. And I'm good for that one. I'll do that. But this one here, I'm gonna to have to do it like, like that. So, yeah. See, the problem is, is that it's um, there's it's different fingers to change over different spots. So I go. So at that point, it's the third finger, and then I move the thumb under. Third finger over. Both thumbs on home note, which is all good. But at this point, I need to move the fourth finger over on the left hand. Third finger under. Third finger over. Third finger's in the same note, which is all good, so we're good there. Third finger, uh, thumb under. Third finger over. Third finger on the same notes as well. And now it's thumbs under. And now it's the fourth finger on the left hand over. The oh, right hand, I should say. Um, so third finger's both on the same notes, that's good. Yeah. And one string 
for sure. I'll do the third finger over there. I thought I did. Should do the fourth. <laughs> Okay, let's just talk to us here that one on D. So that's the first one. Should be the fourth. And now I am going to just try to do the legato. So. cheating a bit there actually. Um, given that you're doing that you said why can't you just go instead of doing You should possibly be doing the thumb under, baby. So, anyway, well, I'm good to go. So, the idea is, is that you staccato with the left hand on the way up and the garden left hand on the way down in the reverse. So, it's or the other way around, so I could try. Oh. 
Yeah, thanks, Rudy. Right. Right, that's me. So, practice done.